Hello everybody, in this video we will continue our journey to be certified as a professional security engineer from Google Cloud where we will speak about the module securing access to Google Cloud so let's start in this module we will speak about four important security services provided by Google Cloud such as Cloud Identity, Cloud Directory Sync managed Microsoft Active Directory and Identity Platform we can start by Cloud Identity which can be seen as, as Identity Provider Identity as a Services where we can use it to create, manage, delete identities and to authenticate, authorize and manage all our users and also manage mobile devices and all endpoints in general if we go here this is the cloud identity first of all if we look to the domain it's at the domain admin.google.com which is the admin console this is not part of the google cloud console which we can see here this is the domain of the cloud console which is cloud.google.com so here we have two edition of cloud identity the free edition which we use now and also the enterprise edition which give uh, to us uh, more management regarding mobile devices and so on uh, cloud identity can be used with um, uh, google workspace services and also can be used without providing uh, google workspace services to our users from cloud identity we can manage all the users all uh, the employee of our organization we can add a new user upload bulk of user and manage all related things to our user including deleting them if we want also we can put our users in group and manage our groups and uh, give a privilege to a specific group and in this case when we give a privilege to a specific group we give a privilege to all the users in this group also cloud identity allow us to manage all related thing, things to our user including security so here we can see we can force our user to use two-step verification if you want and also we can allow our user to authenticate to other application or other services outside uh, Google just by configuring this application by the single sign on URL and the entity ID and so on also if we want we can use a third party identity provider to authenticate our user to use Google Cloud uh, services if you want so instead of use the default IDs provided by cloud identity we, ca we can use the I uh, identities provided by a third parity identity provider also cloud identity allow us to manage the mobile devices used by our users and all the endpoint in general and allow us also to manage the application used by our users and as we can see we can have uh, a reporting uh, regarding our users after creating and managing all the user here from the cloud identity they can they may or may not have a workspace uh, services and also we can go here to Google Cloud Console and go to the identity and the access management and after creating the users in the admin console we can go here and give to uh, the users access privilege to google cloud services the second security service here is the cloud directory sync which allow us to sync users group and other types of data from microsoft active directory and ldap to google so in this diagram on-prem we have either LDAB or Microsoft Active Directory 
and then we install the software cloud directory sync on prem so it will sync users group and so on from on prem to google cloud we have to note something uh, that on prem is the source of truth and it's our own way synchronization so user group and other type of data synchronized from on prem to google cloud but there is no synchronization back so we have to be sure our data at LDAP or Microsoft Active Directory not change it at all by using Cloud Directory Sync now how how Cloud Directory Sync work? first of all it will export a list from all the data on the Active Directory or LDAP and do the something at uh, Google and after having the two list of user group and so on it will compare the two list and after making the compare it will update google uh, by adding or deleting user as uh, it see uh, in the active directory or LDAP. at the end it will send a reporting email so we can know exactly what happened at uh, google the third security service we will speak here it's the managed microsoft active directory it's a managed service provided by Google Cloud and it gives us a real Microsoft Active Directory and because it's a managed services it makes it very easy to us to maintain it and it gives to us a lot of features such as high availability and also it's a secured Active Directory where we can make a snapshot and automating batching and so on if we go to the Google Cloud Console again, we can go to Security and choose Manage Active Directory where, uh, where we can here by clicking on this uh, button we can create a new Managed Active Directory and configure it as we want The next uh, security service provided by Google Cloud is the Identity Platform. Identity Platform allow our customer to be authenticated uh, using a cloud identity choosing by ourselves. What does it mean? First of all, there is a difference between cloud identity and identity platform. In cloud identity, we manage the users of our organization which means the employee of our organization but in identity platform we are speaking about our customers we are speaking about the users of the application or services deployed to google cloud services by us so in identity platform we are authenticating our customer if we go to the Google Cloud Console, we can go to Identity uh, Platform here where we can click here to add a new provider so we have a lot of options, we can choose here Google so this means we will configuring Google as our identity provider to authenticate our customer, the customer that will who will use uh, our services deployed uh, to Google Cloud. There are some of the best practice from the viewpoint of security. First is assign rules to groups instead of users because managing groups is more easy we can say this group can admin all what regarding networking at Google Cloud and another group uh, can manage all what regarding security and so on so when we want to delete a user we just delete the user okay and keep the privilege to the group so when some new employee join our team it will be added to the group of 
the network admin or the security admin based on uh, their job at our organization and after uh, when he leave us we will uh, move just deleting uh, them from the cloud identity the second point here is to have at least two organization admin maybe we can have three but not too much from security viewpoint we have to have between three and three organization admin the third option the third point here is when we creating our organization at Google Cloud where we are managing our using uh, our users from cloud identity by default all user giving the project creating rule and the billing account creating rule so from security viewpoint we have to remove this permission and be sure when new user added or giving access to Google Cloud it will not have uh, this permission I hope uh, this summarization help you on your journey to be certified as a professional cloud security engineer from Google Cloud. Thank you and see you soon.